wickedy wickedy whack it's your boy Mac coming at you with another great tutorial from me to you because that's just what I do today we're working in Photoshop again and the kind of look we're gonna go for is those you see at the picture booths at such establishments at such establishments such as Chuck E. Cheese so we will put the uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second we'll put the image in Photoshop so here's the image nice image and the first thing you do is go to this uh, adjustments adjustment layer thing right here click on hue and saturation and bring the saturation all the way down now what you do is have this selected go to um, go to the layer menu new layer via copy so now you got your background copy right here uh, as you can see so the next thing is um, what am I saying you got to invert you have to invert the I'm losing my train of thought invert the thing the image you go to the image uh, image layer or image menu go to adjustments and then invert so then it obviously inverts it and you can do command I as the shortcut probably should have just done it as that and you gotta change this blend mode here from normal to where is it color dodge right here so then you just set a little bit of color left but that will be fixed in a second so you should go ahead and convert this to a smart object because the next thing you might need to change depending on what kind of image you have so then you go to filter blur Gaussian blur, and this just depends on your image. Uh, we'll try it at like 10 ish for now. And uh, yeah, just try that. And you want to select the levels, levels icon right here, and then change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And then you can go back with your smart filters and change the Gaussian blur to match how you want it to be or match what kind of look you're going for so then it'll look like the picture was sketched similar to the photo booths at Chuck E. Cheese so there we go